Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay magre-review tayo for Engineering Board Exam Electronics Refresher. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magre-review ulit tayo for Engineering Board Exam Electronics Refresher which is Part 2 Particularly about DC Circuits So magsasagot tayo ng sets of questions Let's start with question number 1 So a 200 volt electrical outlet is protected by a circuit breaker The circuit breaker will cut out if the current drawn from the outlets exceeds 12 amps A 1000 watt toaster and a 2000 watt Kettle can be connected to the outlet, either singly or both in parallel using a double adapter. Which of the appliances will trip the circuit breaker? A. The toaster used on its own. B. The kettle used on its own. C. The toaster and the kettle together. D. None of the above. Sige, draw natin. So, meron daw tayong 200 volt outlet. So, meron daw itong circuit breaker na merong rating na 12 amps. So, kapag na-exceed yung 12 amps, syempre puputok siya and then makakat out yung connection. So, meron daw tayong ipa-plug in or isasaksak doon sa outlet na yung una, yung 1000 watt toaster. So, pwedeng isa or pwedeng parallel dito sa 2000 watt naman na toaster. Okay? So, kapag in natin pareho itong switch, pwede silang makonek parallel dito sa 200 volt AC source. So, tanong is, ano raw yung magpapa-cut out doon sa breaker kapag kinonek natin itong appliances na to? So, sabi kung yung toaster lang ba, kung yung kettle lang ba, or kung yung parehong dalawa. So, yung limit nitong current natin dapat is 12 amps lang. Okay? So, pwede natin gawin is, Apply natin yung power formula. Power is equal to VI. Kasi given yung power ng dalawang appliances, right? So, kunin natin yung current nila. Given na yung voltage, drop sa kanilang dalawa is 200, right? Kasi parallel. And then given yung power, masasolve natin yung current sa kanila as P over V. So, dito muna tayo sa 1000 watt toaster. So, substitute natin sa formula. 1000 watt divided by yung voltage natin na 200 volt. So, ilan yan? 5 amps. Okay, so therefore, 5 amps yung dadaloy na current dito sa ating toaster. Paano naman kapag itong si 2000 watt kettle? So, so current is 2000 watts divided by 200 then. So, ilan naman to? 10 amps, right? So, 10 amps itong kay kettle. So, mapapansin nyo, dahil parallel sila, isasum up natin yung total current nila. Ito yung total current na consume nilang dalawa. Which is, pag nag-summation tayo ng current dito, KCL, add natin silang dalawa. Which is, 5 amps plus 10 amps or 15 amps. So, therefore, sagot is C. Kasi kapag nakasaksak para ho itong dalawa yung total current na makoconsume nila is 15 amps which exceeds na yung rating ng ating circuit breaker so sasabog na siya so therefore the answer is C the toaster and the kettle together will cut out the breaker okay next we have two bulbs are marked 230 volts 75 watts and 230 volts 300 watts if the first bulb has a resistance of R then the resistance of the second is Okay, so meron daw tayong two bulbs, yung isa 230 volt tapos yung power is 75 watts. Tapos yung isa 230 volts then tapos yung power is 300 watts. So kung yung resistance sa nung first bulb is R, so resistance niya is R, then what is the resistance of the second? Okay, so mapapansin niyo given yung power Tsaka yung volt. So, meron tayong formula na yung power is equal to V squared over R. So, dito sa unang bulb, pag sinulog natin ngayon si V or sige si V squared, 
PR is equal to V squared which is equal to so 75 watts times yung resistance niya na R equals 230 squared right and then dito naman sa isa same formula lang din bale PR is equal to V squared so yung voltage natin is 230 and then squared din natin times yung power na 300 and then yung unknown resistance na let's say R2 So, hindi natanong, ano yung resistance R2? So, ang sa choices is in terms of R, yung given resistance ng ating first bulb. So, di ba para silang equal sa 230 square? So, pwede natin equate 300 R2 is equal to 75 R. So, gusto natin masolve si R2. So, divide both sides by 300. So, therefore, R2 is 75 R over 300 or ilan to? One fourth R, right? So therefore, the answer is letter E. Okay. Next, we have three resistors R1, R2, and R3 in parallel are connected across 120 volt source, yields a total current of 12 amps. Resistance R2 is twice resistance R1, while R3 is three times of R1. Determine R3. Okay, so meron daw tayong tatlong resistors in parallel. Tapos, connected across 120 volt. Tapos, yung total current daw is 12 amps. Tapos, meron tayong condition. So, let's say R1, R2, R3. So, si resistance R2 daw is twice resistance R1. So, si R2 is 2R1. Tapos, si resistance R3 is 3 times R1. So, 3R1. So, ngayon, ano raw yung value ni R3? So, pwede natin gawin is isolve natin yung total resistance in terms of R1. Right? So, si R1, retain natin yung value niya as R1, si R2 gawin natin 2R1, tapos si R3, 3R1. So, ang total resistance nitong parallel resistors na tatlo is 1 all over yung sum ng conductance nila or yung reciprocal ng resistance. So, 1 over R1 plus 1 over 2R1 plus 1 over 3R1. Okay, so ilan lahat to? So, pag sinimplify natin to, LCD ng denominator is 6R1. So, therefore, we have 6 plus 3 plus 2, right? Or, 6 plus 3 plus 2 is 11. 11 over 6 R1. Tapos, ito pang 1 all over. Or, magiging, pag ni-reciprocal natin to, 6 R1 over 11. So, ito yung RT. So, masasolve natin si R1 given naman yung VT tsaka yung IT. So, Ohm's law, right? Ohm's law is V is equal to IR. So, meron tayong 120 volts, meron tayong 12 amps, times yung RT natin na 6R1 over 11. So, therefore, we have, ano tong R1 natin? Using calculator, ilan to? 120 times 11 divided by 12 times 6. 55 over 3. Okay. So, ang pinahanap is R3. So, hindi si R1. Pero, pero meron tayong relationship na si R3 is 3 times R1. So, 3 times ano ba si R1? 55 over 3. So, cancel si 3. Matitira is 55. So, 55 ohm si R3. Okay. Letter D. Okay. Next, we have A 10, 15, and 20 ohm resistors are connected in series across a 48 volt source. What is the voltage across the 20 ohm resistor? Okay, so meron daw tayong tatlong resistors in series na connected sa 48 volt source. Yung isa 10 ohms, yung isa 15 ohms, yung isa 20 ohms. So ano ngayon yung voltage daw across 20 ohm? So, dahil series sila, connected with the voltage source, pwede natin gamitin yung voltage divider. So, ang formula nun is, yung voltage across 20 ohm is 
yung resistance ng resistor natin, which is yung 20 ohm, over yung total resistance ng circuit. So, add lang natin yan, right? So, 10 ohm plus 20 ohm plus 15 ohm. Then, multiply natin doon sa voltage source na 48 volts. So, using calculator, ilan to? So, 21.33 volts. So, letter A. Okay? Next, we have calculate the current flow through R1. Okay, so meron daw tayong circuit na series to parallel connection sa resistor. So, ito raw yung R1 natin. Hanapin daw natin yung current flowing sa kanya. So, parang equal siya sa IT, right? So, meron tayong VT na 100 volt. Tapos, meron tayong mga series to parallel connection sa resistors with values. So, pwede natin gawin since IT naman yung hinahanap natin, using Ohm's law, VT is equal to IT times RT. So, IT is therefore equal to VT over RT. So, kuhain muna natin yung RT dito sa circuit, then divide lang natin dun sa VT para masolve na natin si IT or yung current nga dun sa R1. So, sige, magsimula tayo sa dulo. So, mamapansin nyo, parallel tayo, right? Yung R6 saka R7, parang 300 ohm. So, kapag dalawang parallel na, mag na magkapareho ng resistance, divide to lang yon So, 300 divided by 2, 150. So, therefore, gawin ko na lang tong single resistor as 150. And then, ito, series. So, add natin 400 plus 150 plus 50. So, itong tatlo. 600. So, therefore, gawin ko na lang single resistor na 600. Okay. So, kunwari ito na lang. 600. Okay. Next, itong apat na parallel resistors. So, therefore, anong formula? ba 1 all over yung sum ng conductances ng mga parallel resistors. So, 1 all over 1 over 300 plus 1 over 300 plus 1 over 600 plus 1 over 600. Itong resistance nung apat na resistor. So, ilan lahat yan? Sakto. 100. So, burahin ko. Gawin ko na lang single res resistor na yung equivalent nila. 100. And then, series na lang tong tatlo. So, therefore, RT is 50 plus 100 plus 100. Add na lang natin kasi series. 250 ohms. Okay, so kailangan natin is ID. So, plug in na natin sa formula. VT is 100 volts over yung RT na 250 ohms. So, ilan yan? 0.4 amps. Okay, so therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay? Okay, so putulin ko muna dito yung part 2 ng, ng ating engineering board exam review for electronics refresher. So, abangan nyo na lang yung next upload ko for engineering board exam, review, electronics repressure, which is part 3. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.